what up y'all it's your boy b savage so yesterday sass was asking me how i do this how i get these cookies how do i hook that up well just so happened i got to uh go hit my dealer today and see what's going on so i figure i'd take you along for the ride with me all right so here we go it's a long journey but oh wait because it wasn't very long didn't even have to go out my door <sighs> yeah try not to give out too much information not that it matters I won't be living in this apartment much longer but Yeah, that's pretty much it. I walk to my door after I order, open it, and usually by the time I wake up, it's sitting on the porch. Oh, look. The oven's ready. I guess we're going to have to use it, aren't we? Well, give me a second, and we'll open this up even further, and take a look, and pick a cookie. Okay, so I think I'm going to go a little more in-depth on their packaging and everything. Just so you got a clue what's coming if you ever get to order. But, so this is once you get the box opened completely, all it is is flip up. But, I mean, it's one big pack and everything's in there tight. So, you know, I don't need to see the receipt with the breakdown, but... So there we go. It tells you what I ordered: a ghoul mix or five ghoul mix and five Jack O lanterns. Orange colored batter with Reese's pieces, chocolate chips, and peanut butter chips. But. And then there you go on what the actual cookies look like. So, I mean, I just pulled out a jack o' lantern because that's what I'm going to end up making first thing this morning. It looks really cool. I mean, yeah. All right, give me just a second and I'll put it on my tray. And yeah, uh, I got the perfect pan for cookies. I know, I'm a bit of a dork for that. I didn't buy it just for cookies. It was one the old roommate had bought and left for me, so... Oh, wait, wrong button. Mm. Uh. Yeah, I've also got a habit of baking these now. It worked out so well with the other two that I'm going to try it with this one. Alright, this is going to take about 9 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. And I'll bring it back when I do that cut half. And we'll go from there. Alright, so I know it seemed like forever. Trust me, I've been sitting here waiting on the oven timer to go off. Speaking of which, off. But, yeah, it's done. It's ready. Brand new cookie to me, so... Once I cut this in half, it's going to be a surprise for me as much as it is for you. Wow. I mean, it, it kind of looked like a pumpkin. But, got my knife. 
Got my cutting board. Got my cookie. Let's see. Oh. There you guys go. The Jack O' Lantern cookie. I, I just, I don't know. It's pretty. It's a bright, bright orange. And then obviously you can see the peanut butter chips and the chocolate chips and the Reese pieces. There's one right there. Uh, and of course, I am going to be y'all defender and check up and make sure this one passes the test. And I, it's a rough job, but I love y'all. And I wouldn't feel right if every cookie didn't pass my test and I kept recommending it to y'all so all right let me uh l let me make this sacrifice I'll be right back okay y'all uh, so just took a, a quarter of that cookie it is gonna take me a little while to get through the other three quarters because oh my it's amazing but so much peanut butter and I love peanut butter. But the, they packed that flavor in here. Guys, I can't say it enough. My cookie dealer? Yeah, they got the hookup. But I don't know what else to say. I, I gotta get my blood sugar checked because, man, that's tasty, but extremely. Yeah. I, uh, ISY, MFS, F cancer.